like you're in a big old boat driving down the road. Okay, this is the back of a uh, 1999 Ford E-150 van. It's a conversion van. It has the extended top. Um, it's got 90,000 miles on it. I bought it used. I got the license plate out of it right now because I had to open the uh, rear door the hard way because the end is broken off of the cable. But I got some uh, replacement cables off of Amazon for like $13 that'll be here tomorrow, I believe. Um, anyways, the outside of the van actually isn't in too bad a shape. You know, it, it needs some tires. It's got like what you would normally expect needs done for a 1999 vehicle. It needs probably a tune-up. Um, tires miscellaneous stuff, wiper blades, uh, you know, the paint and stuff, you know, some places it's chipped on this fiberglass stuff, it's uh, missing a left front light. Didn't have a spare tire. I got to find a rim for a spare tire. I don't really think it's in that bad of shape though for the year. The engine though runs great. When I first got it, the oxygen sensor was disconnected. The lady told me that she had recently had some exhaust work done to it. And uh kind of show you the inside here while I'm talking it's got uh, mood lights in the ceiling a TV a VCR this rear uh, this rear seating area actually is a sofa so you can like lay it down and turn it into a van or to into a bed <laughs> you can lay it down and turn it into a bed it's got a bunch of storage areas Show you the inside real quick got a lot of windows a lot of the windows fold out most of the factory curtains or, or shades are still intact um, I'm probably going to get rid of them kind of see the mood lights in the ceiling around the edges I had them turned on I'll put a video up and kind of show you that so you got the two bucket seats Um, you got your overhead storage area where the TV and VCR and then this one over here is just blank Nothing in there. I believe in the factory if you lift this up. There's actually an inverter in there uh, Down here is a control system for the electrical unit That's all gonna come out. It actually works um, It's controlled up here You can control it from here. Controls a lot of stuff in the back. It's got a uh, separate radio back here. It's got like a gaming setup. Pretty high technology for 1999. But you have the two front bucket seats. Then you have mid bucket seats. And then you have this seat here that turns into a bed. Um... All of these places you see like this are actually mood lights. Some in the back, on the sides. Actually, the uh, the, the plate for this one is in the back. Um, there's also mood lights in the ceiling with reading lights. Um, pretty much on each side has TV and radio jacks. Here's the other side, TV and radio jacks. Um, down here's the gaming one. 
course, this is for 1999 games, so you got a uh, power and uh, your input is the old RCA inputs. Um, radio here. There's actually a remote for the VCR. There was a couple of games that were up in the uh, in here. A couple of uh, VHS videos. The front stereo system is both a tape, cassette tape, and a disc player. Has front and rear AC. Got a separate power point with a cigarette lighter. But, um, basically what we are, I am going to do, though, is that it's going to be gutted. Basically from the front bucket seats all the way back. Now, I'm kind of short, and I can literally stand up in this. My head just touches, just touches the... Uh, headrest so I can almost stand up in this and that's with all the factory padding that's in the roof of this but the goal is is to gut it and I'm gonna turn it into a uh, camper van I'm gonna put a bed in a stove and a refrigerator and a toilet and a sink in this um, going by the online kind of like a rough interior dimensions the cargo area is roughly six foot wide and ten foot long. So basically I'm gonna turn it into a little mini home and try to uh try to do some sightseeing, I guess would be a thing. We're actually gonna to try to do like all of the national parks is my idea. But I kind of wanted to record this and show you the inside before I start because I'm going to get tires put on it this weekend um, and get the cable for this door supposed to be in tomorrow and then I'm going to get tires put on it and once I have the tires put on it I'm going to start gutting the inside. I, I have yet to figure out how these lights turn on. Storage area on the back of the seat. Storage up here, it looks like, or more lights. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so there's like a uh, door that opens up with more storage in here. Actually, that's a lot of storage in there. But yeah, so kind of what I'm getting at is uh, more storage here. So this is your lights inside here, and then they all got storage in them. Kind of like on this one over here actually still has the glass in it so you lift it up and there's your lights and then storage there's a lot of videos on uh there's a lot of videos on uh youtube about these vans I uh, don't know that I've seen any that were like converted to camper vans, but that's kind of what I'm going to do. Um, the front coil springs seem like they're a little weak, but I noticed that this back tire here, I'll show you in a minute. They're all dry rotted. It's going to be upside down, but I'm going to read it off to you. P23575R15 tire size on three wheels and then this one up here is a uh, 20570 R15 and uh, kind of makes it pull to this side but I think the front coil springs are a little weak or the shocks one 
used to be able to when I worked for Ford has a 4.6 liter V8 in it does have the engine cooler in the transmission cooler engine oil and transmission oil coolers on it so that's good um, the kind of what I'm getting at is uh, you know even if the coil springs and shocks are bad I can replace that pretty easy it probably does need to have like the front end suspension bushings replaced um, for like the sway bar there uh, coil springs they're pretty weak but yeah so it needs like you know minor stuff just what you would expect there's a shock right there you can see it anyways front shocks are like a hundred bucks tires are going to be uh you know probably six to eight hundred dollars bushings really aren't that bad um the transmission doesn't slip the engine doesn't have any knocks or unusual sounds in it uh trying to find you know like a wheel cover and you know just miscellaneous stuff that it'll need does have a uh grease hitch looks like it's a uh looks like it's an aftermarket reese hitch looks like a pretty good one though you could get these with a factory tow package and i originally thought that because it had the oil cooler and the transmission cooler that it was probably a factory package but looking at the reese hitch now i don't think that it is you know when they when the companies convert these bands like this they basically have packages for instance, I couldn't figure out why the bed wouldn't recline. And I don't know if this is the actual factory seat because the two connectors are different. <laughs> or there's supposed to be a pigtail that goes in there that's missing. But that's why the seat, this goes to the motor for the seat. This comes off of the control battery and ground. And uh, I might run a lot like a pigtail just to see if it actually works. Um, because I thought about maybe selling this, you know, the parts I take out of this on eBay or something. Try to get recoup some money back. But anyways, that's the idea. So, hopefully I'll be able to take you all along for this build. This video is getting really long, so I want to get and wrap this up. Anyways... As always, God bless you, God bless your families, God bless your homesteads. And uh, just wanted you to see what it looked like before I started.